behind the sea. David, I think it is one of my favourite things I've ever seen on Brent Scott's house. No, no. It's so stupid, but so much fun. When did you discover you had this talent? Well, it's not about discovery. It's all muscle memory, man. It's all muscle memory. <laughs> I think my favourite part of the whole thing was your face. I mean, you were in it. You were feeling it. It was great. Thank you. Simon? Well, for what you do, it's the best we've ever heard. Some of these things I kind of base it on my son, Eric. What's he going to love? And I know you are going to be his favourite act on the show tonight. Genuinely. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Dear 25, 8.48 a.m. And the new celebrity housemates have arrived by Big Brother Car. Oh, did somebody mention Car? Oh, yeah. Oh, hello, Simon. Or can I call you Daddy? Oh. 8.49 a.m. The housemates are having donuts for breakfast. Ah, and it's Emily mentioned donuts. <laughs> donuts. Mmm. Is there anything they can't do? Mmm. Marge! Oh, Homer, what are you talking about? <laughs> are you talking about donuts again, homie? <laughs> Homie! Homie! <laughs> we'll be back 
after the break. I've had an accident. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm entitled to some compensation. Nine forty-nine a.m. <laughs> Time to find out if he's got the X factor. You look like a pop star. You sound like a pop star. <laughs> I'm cutting you too. But Gary, Gary, Sharon, Sharon, Gary, Sharon, Nicole, Gary, Sharon. We need to find out the thoughts of one final judge, Simon. Okay, let me stop you there. <laughs> Thank you! Time to go, boys. Amazing. Okay, right. David, what did you think? Well, I love that. Oh, thank you. you uh, you're a very funny man, and, you know, you, you ticked all the boxes. The impressions were fantastic. And, you know, your experience really shows through. And oh, thank you very Fantastic. Much. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. I'm completely delighted for you because it's a really hard genre comedy, and I hope your dad's proud. What do you think? He did really, really great. It was, it was a great act. Apart from me, I loved all the impressions. I loved Marge Simpson. That was, I think, my favourite. Yeah, me too. And what was great was when the audience got behind you, you got more confident. I could see that. I think you did well. John, I totally agree with them. I think you just got better and better as that act went on, and I think you should get extra points for doing Simon because I think that makes you a very brave man. We have to take a vote. David, yes or no? John, it's very easy, yes. Amanda? Oh, absolutely yes for me, well done. Simon? It's a yes for me. It's a yes for me, you've got four yeses. Yeah. Congratulations. Hi. Hello. Do you want to tell us who you are, please? Mandy Muden. And um, where are you from? London. All right. Mandy, how old are you? Let's just say I've seen a few summers and leave right. it there, Simon. <laughs> That's a good answer. We've all seen a few summers, Mandy. Is this what you do full time? Yeah, I'm a bit of a performer. Have you nearly had that opportunity where you had that break? To be quite honest, not really, because my family don't even really know who I am, so no, no. <laughs> they don't know who you are. No, they, they're always confused when I come home, but you know. <laughs> I keep trying, you never know. All right, well, look, good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is right up my street. It's fun. OK, now, I'm going to show you something um, that is a little bit um, extraordinary, OK? Whatever I write or draw on this pad becomes a reality. What? I was hoping I'd be a bit older when the melons dropped. <laughs> now, I'm completely uh, psychiatric, psychotic, and some people do actually call me a witch. And, David, I'm being very drawn to you. Can you feel me stroking your aura? <laughs> <laughs> you will in a minute. Now, David, um, I'm going to try and read your mind. I want you to think of somebody, David, that you're very, very attracted to. <laughs> Who is it, David, that you're very, very attracted to? <laughs> Simon! <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> now, Alicia, I'm being drawn to you, and I want you to think of something you like to do most days. All right, here we go. All right, what, what are you thinking of? Food.
<laughs> She's brilliant, this girl. I love her. Right, Simon, <laughs> because it's you, dear, I want you to think of a number between one and five thousand. Make it really hard for me, all right? Here we go, Simon. Are you thinking? OK, this'll be it. What number were you thinking of? Seven, seven, seven. That is uncanny. <laughs> Amanda. Yeah? Would you be so kind as to join me on stage? Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, Amanda, don't you look gorgeous? Would you mind to sit on that stool? Now, Amanda, just touch any card. Touch. Do you like? Yes, touch, touch any card. Take it out. Look at it. OK, I'm going to make a prediction of what it is. Show everybody and remember it. OK. Just to say, David, you're very attracted to Simon and I don't blame you with that lovely jewel line. <laughs> Alicia, you like food. What? And your number was 777. Was that right, Simon? Yes. So that says 770. Oh, maybe I've got that one wrong, but let's move on. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Sometimes witches can't be perfect. Now, Amanda, yes. what was the card? It was the Four of Spades. The Four of... Was it? Yes. Not the three? <laughs> no, it was a four. So we're a spade missing, then, everybody. <laughs> OK, well, look, here it is. heard something, right? Because I thought the first song was about the Arsenal Club football manager. <laughs> That's funny. What I did then, right, I had a little thing to myself. I thought, oh, maybe there's other songs, right, that you can hear that you think maybe they're singing something different, right? So I've amalgamated loads and it's just for you. Hit it, Shirley! <laughs> is only the beginning.